But today I'm going to change my clothes. So I am driving and I missed my entrance to the freeway, but I'm so glad I did because there's I'm getting ready to make peanut butter and blackberry preserve sandwiches and it's actually pretty nice in New Mexico right now. Let me just show you my plant really quick. It did not survive the, well it's still alive, but it's struggling. Um, it did not survive the Arizona heat. It was suffering so much. It actually looked a lot worse than this but um, yesterday I changed the water and I sprayed it with some, like I misted it with some water also. Moving past Arizona and I guess the air conditioning and spray and change of water kind of helped it liven up because it looked so much worse than this. Today I woke up and I was like, oh, it perked up. New Mexico is a bit gloomy today. Um, just crossed the border of Arizona, but it's like really nice and breezy. It was starting to get a bit windy. It's, it's a nice day today. I am getting ready to go into this Walmart and change my clothes because I've been wearing these clothes for four days straight. <laughs> um, yeah, at night I will change into like some pajama clothing or like a night dress or something. But today I'm going to change my clothes. I'm going to drive for two and a half hours to my friend's mom's house and she's going to let me stay there um, and kind of like freshen up and yeah it's so nice to have a lot of my friends open their homes or their family's homes or sorry my lips are my lip is peeling i wiped my face this morning with some coconut oil in the summer and like the heat, I like to use coconut oil on my face, but in the cooler weather, I like to use um, olive oil. I don't know, it's just a, something that I've been doing. So uh, yeah, I used it on my lips as well and it kind of like helped it be a little moisturized, but with the weather change and stuff, my lips start to peel. Actually, my lips peel all the time, so. <laughs> Peanut butter smells so good. I must say, blackberry preserves spread so much better than jelly. Yes, I love it. I seriously just bit the bottom of my sandwich and it felt so wrong. <laughs> but the blackberry preserves were seeping out so I'm starting from the bottom today. <laughs> I just made an extra sandwich for when I'm on the road. I have just a two and a half hour drive, but it'll be great to have something to eat really quickly when I arrive. That way I'm not trying to scramble to make food or anything. Oh, and laundry. Laundry is very important right now. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Don't die. Don't die, please. Uh, no, that's not the what, what I should be saying. <laughs> live, <laughs> live, <laughs> live, survive, thrive. It is now 2.45 p.m. and I'm gonna change my clothes and fill my water jug and get on the road. Don't forget, water yourself. You're like a plant too. <laughs> oh. yes. You know, this is where I get myself in trouble. My thought process is I only have two and a half hours to my next destination. So why change my clothes now? <laughs> I can shower there and change then. So that's what I'm gonna do. was 
empty last night. Yeah, that's where I stayed last night and I'm gonna leave after I fill this water jug up. Um, a lot of Walmart, uh, especially the Walmart super centers, have like a refillable water station. So I'm gonna go, this one better have one. <laughs> but I'm gonna go take this in and see if they have one. Then head off for my two and a half hour journey. I'll grab a basket here. I love the little umbrella concept they have hanging up at the top. Um, I'm cleaning. <laughs> I don't like to waste my little wipes, so getting all the use that I can. <laughs> Place your bottle under the pour spout to fill it up. Use the on off button or handle to fill it with great tasting water. I started spilling a little bit. That's what I get for filming. <laughs> I'm looking for a new journal. This is a really nice one. I like how each page has an option for you to circle the date. That's handy. I actually like the texture of this one, but I don't like the color. <laughs> Seems like all of them have this date thing going on here. Wow, this is interesting. Have you guys seen this? It's called Blackboard. I think I'm going to go with this one. I like the color. I like that it has this little um, closure thing. And it has a little ribbon. I was trying to debate if I wanted a hard cover or one of those soft ones that can bend. But I think I'll go with this. This Walmart has an amazing selection of suitcases and travel stuff. This is actually the toiletry bag that I have. I got it at a Walmart in California. They have a black option too. I really like it. I like the space and I like that it has the two side um, wet compartments. And I also have these uh, packing cubes. I got two sets and I really like it. They fit nicely in my hamper. I am looking for a plant gift to give to my friend's mom for letting me stay and thanking her for letting me stay at her place. Plant gifts are always the best gift. <laughs> that's my theory, so that's what I go with. Ooh, they have Thai basil here, and Thai basil is delicious. I chose this beautiful succulent. It's gorgeous. Now I just found this one, and it's absolutely beautiful too. I'm trying to figure out which one is better, and which one will survive the ride. It's just a two and a half hour ride. This one looks stronger and less shaky, but this one, I love the colors on this one. I'm going with this one because it has more in the pot and I love the color on this one. No COVID testing today at this Walmart that I'm at. Um, I was just parked right across from it. <laughs> um, but over there, can you guys see that? Well, obviously you can see that. Those are solar panels. And there's like rolls of them. I wonder how much that costs. It seriously goes from like over there all the way down. Oh my goodness, and there are more over there. Whoa. <laughs> I'm fascinated by that because I have mine here. That's my solar panel that I use to charge my battery. 
and I'm very fascinated by solar power things. I want to share with you guys some of my thoughts about how I try to pull myself out of a stuck place. Sometimes I can feel like I don't know exactly what I have accomplished and lately I've been trying to look at how far I have come what I have learned and how I have grown as a person and how this is not the final destination and I have more life to live and just looking back allows me to do that but for a minute let's take a look at the gas prices super cheap oh my goodness okay back to what I was saying <laughs> I did notice the gas prices drop significantly as I left California. Many of us had plans or a life path that we were on before the pandemic hit and before a lot of things shut down for us. I try to take some lessons from my travels and turn them into life lessons. Before I get into the life lesson, let's watch me miss my entrance to the freeway. Me missing my entrance to the freeway is a great lesson on how sometimes the things we plan don't really turn out the way we expected and sometimes we end up finding really fun treasures along the way as we try and get ourselves back on the road and pull ourselves back to what we had planned. So I am driving and I missed my entrance to the freeway but I'm so glad I did because there's actually like a little I wouldn't call it a park. It looks like it's like a um, park. <laughs> I don't know what you call this. <laughs> but uh, I decided to pull over and check it out really quick. Just It's just like a short five minute walk. So I will go check it out with you guys. Okay, so according to my map, it does look like it's a city park. It's called Playground of Dreams. Let's go check it out. We the people park dedicated November 11th, 1994. Thanks to the taxpayers of Gallup who made the funding possible for this community art project. Designed and built by Armando Alvarez, Mayor George Galanis, counselors and all those people. <laughs> That's so cool. If there's anything that this pandemic has taught me, it is that life is too short and you never know when it's your time. And I think that's something we all knew. <laughs> um, but I think, at least for me, you know, I've had people in my life who I know who have passed away from the virus. And it makes me reflect and think about who I am and how I want to grow and continue to grow. But also to not let myself stay stuck for too long. To allow myself time to give myself the pity party, <laughs> but also give myself time to pull myself back up and remember who I am and how I want to move forward in life. Tomorrow is not promised and neither is today. I choose to move forward in love and complete compassion. What a great find on the way to the freeway. <laughs> That's what I got for missing my freeway entrance. This is so cool. It seriously goes all the way around. Can you guys see? There's like another side over there. It goes all the way around there. I can't finish this video without mentioning that a big reason why I was originally afraid to go on this cross-country road trip 
was because of all of the black killings and the heightened state of fear. Tomorrow is not promised. I'm pulling myself together and I'm going to enjoy the life that I do have and the time that I do have. Tonight I am staying at a friend's mom's house here in New Mexico. I'm probably gonna still sleep in my car but I'm definitely going inside right now to go shower, um, do laundry, and um, I'm gonna cook some food and also need to charge my battery. Um, well, I don't need to, but I will since I have an outlet now. And I can use solar power tomorrow, but I think it's just quick. And watch some Netflix after I shower and make some food. I hope you guys are doing great. I had a great two and a half hour drive. I was listening to Brene Brown. She has a podcast called Unlocking Us. If you guys want to listen to it, you should listen to the apology. It's called Sorry. It was really good. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Before I do anything, I'm going to eat this peanut butter and blackberry preserves. It's so weird <laughs> to say that instead of peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> but these are blackberry preserves and they taste so good and they're so much better than jelly. But I'm going to eat this before I do anything because I need some fuel. Then I'm going to shower. So yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a special shout out to my patrons, either on Patreon, Cash App, or Venmo. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!